So, after owning the great Z5230 for about 3 months now, I can safely say that it is a guitar that I have really enjoyed, but to do so, I had to overcome some problems. I've been searching for a long time for a guitar that isn't a Strat to buy and have here in the studio. And that is not because I want something to replace my Strat. Let's face it, I will always be a Strat player first. But mostly because I want to have an alternative whenever I want a different sound or a different feel from an instrument. It also helps to have something different whenever you want to record. During the course of this search, I have bought many guitars. From what I recall, uh, there have been two Telecasters, one of which I used for about a year, two hollow-body guitars uh, in the Casino family, one from Epiphone, one from Peerless, which was an amazing guitar, and one an Electro, which at the time I had couldn't fully understand. It was a cool guitar with a unique sound, but it wasn't for me at that moment. I wish I had it right now. However, none of them were really for me. Alongside my Strat, of course, I always had my Fernandez Ravel, which uh, for me covered uh, the humbucker sounds I needed, but uh, it was a guitar that over the years I never seemed to pick up unless I wanted to record something heavy, let's say. Of all the types of guitars that I think fit what I want to do with the instrument, the only ones that I hadn't tried were the Gretzys. I always liked them, but uh, I never took a trip to a, a local shop uh, to see how they feel and how they sound in person. So, I thought it was about time. I went here to a local shop uh, and tried many different models out. They didn't have the specific ones that uh, I was interested in, but uh, I managed to get uh, the feel of uh, what these guitars are all about. And in general, I liked how they sounded and how they felt in my hands. The models that I was interested in were the G5230, which is the single cutaway, and the G5232, which is the double cutaway, both of them with the Bixby. In general, the names of the Gretzys are <laughs> at least confusing for someone that isn't initiated to them. I decided to order the single cutaway because I loved the Cadillac Green and uh, I was very excited when it arrived, but out of the box uh, it had many little or bigger problems, depending on how you see it, uh, which were very disappointing in the beginning. The first thing that I noticed was that the input jack was faulty and none of the cables I tried here in the studio managed to stay in it, they all fell. The second thing was the pickup selector, which didn't make proper contact and you had to try a few times to get sound out of the neck position. The final thing was, uh, of course, <laughs> the tuning stability. That was something that I was aware it was going to be a problem, but uh, in person it was really bad. You couldn't bend a note without it getting out of tune, you couldn't play a bit harder without it getting out of tune. All of these problems for someone like me with a little bit of patience and the little bit of knowledge 
that is needed to fix them are nothing major, but I couldn't help uh, and get in the shoes of someone that uh, is upgrading and buying his first uh, mid-priced guitar and get something out of the box that isn't usable. The only solution is to take a brand new guitar to a luthier or to return it and hope for a better example of it. Anyway, I proceeded to fix all of those problems, I replaced the input jack, uh, sprayed some contact cleaner on the switch uh, and seems to work pretty well right now and also opened up the slots a bit on the nut so that it could fit the 11s that I'm using on all of my guitars. Another thing that is not a disadvantage but is something that felt weird for me coming from a Strat is the layout and the function of the volume and tone pots. The tapers felt weird and uh, I guess I just prefer a simpler layout. Over the course of these two months, uh, I have proceeded to make uh, the volume and tone pot situation kinda like a tele with one master volume and one master tone. And I guess I will experiment with the other two to see if I can add uh, a bass cut, uh, which sometimes is useful, especially in recording situations. Quick side note, I realized while editing this video that I didn't record any sounds from the guitar straight to the amp but I did an entire other video with only clean sounds and no talking, so if you want check it out. But enough with the negatives, because overall I really like this guitar. If you are luckier than me and you get a better example of one, or you have the patience to overcome these little problems, I think you will be rewarded. It is a great sounding guitar and its build quality overall is really good, with the exception of these few small things. And uh, the best thing is that I like how it feels in my hand. The neck uh, feels really good, uh, Although I can't measure it scientifically, it's something in the middle, it's not uh, as thick as the hollow bodies and it's not as thin as say the modern fenders are. The pickups, especially for this price range, sound really really good and the only thing I want to do in the future, because I like to experiment with pickups a lot, is to try the Diarmon style pickups, because I think they will... Uh, fit my needs even better. But I think that at this point is more of a preference thing, uh, more so than anything else. Of course, I have to mention it, I love how this guitar looks. I love the color, I love the finish, uh, and although it doesn't make it sound any better, it's nice to have something that uh, welcomes you to pick it up and play. But uh, the most important thing for me is that this is the only guitar that after the honeymoon phase I still prefer to pick up before the Strat. I think it is uh, something about the way it feels and sound that I really enjoy and I hope I will for a long time. Maybe it has to do with the fact that although it is categorized as a solid body, it is essentially chambered and it resonates in a very nice way. Finally, it is a guitar that is really nice to have around in the studio because it is something that is a bit more rare than the Strats, the Les Pauls and the Tellys that most people have. And it can provide for someone else an alternative sound that may fit in a song better. Anyway, I think I've covered everything I wanted. It's been really exciting to have a new guitar here in the studio that uh, is welcoming to explore and uh, I think this one is going to stay for some time. Thank you very much for watching, my name is Talam and I'll see you in the next one.
Step 